the rate of testing is increasing, we must go further, faster. A critical constraint on the ability to rapidly increase testing capacity is the availability of the chemical reagents which are necessary in the testing. The Prime Minister and the Health Secretary are working with companies worldwide to ensure that we get the material we need to increase tests of all kinds. We have just over 8,000 ventilators deployed in NHS hospitals now. This number has increased since the epidemic began, thanks to the hard work of NHS professionals. But we need more. That's why we are buying more ventilators from abroad, including from EU nations. And it's also why we're developing new sources of supply at home. And I can announce that this weekend, the first of thousands of new ventilator devices will roll off the production line and be delivered to the NHS next week. From there, they will be rapidly distributed to the front line. And as well as increasing the capacity for ventilation, which helps support those patients worst affected, we're also increasing the capacity to provide oxygen to affected patients at an earlier stage in the process of the disease, helping to avert, we hope, the deterioration of their condition. All the interventions, all the instructions that the government have given based on the best possible scientific advice and similar to the approach being taken in many countries around the world are designed to reduce social contact. In other words, to reduce the chance that a virus, the virus is passed from one person to another. And by doing that, the spread of the virus reduces uh, and the number of infections reduces. I'm pleased to say that the great British public are paying attention to that message and we see in many ways uh, that that amount of social contact is now reducing. So this first chart shows you an example of that, transport. And as you can see, uh, the number of people using our transplant services has reduced dramatically over the last few weeks. So for example, you can see in the light blue line that uh, transport in London on the tube has decreased dramatically, which demonstrates that people are paying attention and understand the message we are giving. As the next chart shows, that plays into an impact on the number of infections. So the less social contact, the less the chance is that the virus can move from one person to another. And that will, over time, reduce the number of infections that we are seeing, the number of people testing positive. And you can see here that we have had a rise in the number of new UK cases but recently there is a little bit of a plateau. Now, I think it's really important not to read too much into this because it's early days, we're not out of the woods, we're very much in the woods, and it's really important that we keep complying with those instructions. Now, if infections fall, as the next chart shows, that will also translate uh, into fewer hospital admissions. Hospital admissions typically occur a week or two after an infection. And remember, for the vast majority of people, COVID-19 is a mild flu-like illness, a heavy cold. But for a small percentage of people, hospitalisation is required. Now you can see here that the rate of hospitalisation has been increasing. Uh, and we would expect that at this stage uh, in the epidemic. But if those infections start to drop, then in the next few weeks, our hope is that the number of hospitalisations will also start to reduce. Now the good news here is that that line is not going up uh, very steeply, but it is still rising. We're not out of the woods. We need to keep our foot on the pedal. Now, as the next chart shows, um, hospitalisation, um, unfortunately, uh, some people who are hospitalised do die. Every death is tragic, and we absolutely need to avoid as many deaths as possible by all playing our part. Uh, so what we want to see over time is a reduction in the number of deaths. And you can see here a comparison of deaths in different countries. And you can see maybe in the very light line in the middle that uh, China over time has flattened uh, that particular line. In other words, the number of deaths have reduced. And so if we reduce the number of infections, we will reduce the number of hospitalizations and we will reduce the number of deaths. Maybe some green shoots, but the last thing I would want is a message to anybody that this is a time to take our foot off the pedal, to not comply with the instructions, because this is not a short haul. As we said, this is going to take time, and it's important that we all stick with it, everybody. Thank you.